Hey what's going on guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another design related tutorial this is the part 2 of this tutorial in the first part i have started to converting this figma design to our elementor website in the first part i have converted the top area and the second area so if you still did not check the first part i will leave that tutorial link in my description so you can check it first and after that in this part i am going to convert the other section one by one by the way for this tutorial i'm going to use elementor pro version so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and if you like to see this kind of series of tutorial and the elementor design related tutorial let me know in the comment section so i will make more tutorial like this all right now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started now going for the service area so for this section first we need to take a one column structure then three column structure so going again here and now taking a new section one column structure and for this section I'm going to copy the style from this section and going here and paste the style and for this section i'm taking a different color for background if i check here is the background color 111 so i'm going here and style tab and the color this is black bg2 i'm taking black bg1 and now i have to take the title and the small title so going to copy the title and paste it here and also going to copy this text and paste it here moving it to the top and here I'm making the alignment to center but here I have set the width to auto so to making it to the center we need to add margin auto and here if we go to the advance we can see here we cannot type auto so I'm going to add this using custom CSS so going here going to custom CSS and now if I scroll down in the very bottom I'm typing selector and now type margin auto and now you can see it's moving to the center line and also in the similar way for this text I'm making it to center and now going to copy text from here so going here first selecting this text and copy paste and also for the next one and here if we see we can make it to the two line the line break is not working here we can add some padding for the left and right so going to advance and from padding making it to unlink and for the right side i am adding 150 and left side 150 and next here here is some text so for that i can copy this text first so we need not to do the text style paste it here and now going to copy this text going here and paste it and now making the center alignment and also for this text we can add some padding so going here in the similar way going to add fonts and for padding making it to unlink for left and right adding 150 or here i have set it to 170 and next for this section we can duplicate the boxes from the very top so going here and can copy the inner section and now we can paste it here and now we can change our text and icon so for the first one web design I'm changing the text and also the icon so these are all dummy icon and text you can use your own text and own icon so I'm going to add our own text one by one and now we can also duplicate this one 
and here we need to add some margin for this top one so going here and going to advance and for the margin making it to unlink and for bottom we can add 20 yeah looks good and now in the similar way i'm going to add our own text all right so now in the top area here we can also decrease the spacing between each item so going to the edit column and from layout you can make the widgets spacing to 10 yeah looks good and also for this inner section we can add some spacing in top so from advanced we can add 30 pixel looks good and finally if i check the responsive view for this section going to the tablet and here we can decrease the margin in bottom for this inner section going here from advanced we can add 10 pixel and also for this text is okay and here we can also decrease some padding for the left and right this text from the advanced for padding making it to unlink i'm making it to 140 and for the top one is okay and also checking the phone view for this section going here from advanced making padding to zero and also for this one making padding to zero looks good all right so this section is done and again going back to the desktop view and next if i go here again so here is the portfolio or work section so for this section we can duplicate this section first i'm going to duplicate and now for this section i'm changing the background to the opposite one and going to style tab from color i'm selecting black dg2 and here i'm changing the text one by one case studies going here and adding our text and now for this section i'm removing the bottom one and now for the first one i'm removing the icon and here we can copy this text and paste it here and now for this column going here and for the background this time i'm going to add a image and some overlay so now i'm going to export this image so selecting these two image in the same time and now this two layer i'm making it to the group by command g and now from the right side export and this time we can set it to as jpg format and now going to export and also going to export this two image in the similar way and now going to this column area and here i'm going to upload the image as background so going to style tab and now for background i'm going to upload this image selecting the first one and now for this section i'm going to add some padding in top so going to advance for padding for padding top i'm adding 220 and for bottom we can add 30 pixel looks good and for left and right this time we can add 15 pixel and for top if we want to change the height or we can add more spacing so i'm going to increase the padding all right so i have add 260 and in the similar way going to copy the column style and paste style and also paste style and deleting this one and now for the others one i am going to remove the icons and for the text we can copy the text i'm removing the extra one so all is looking good now and now for the second one i'm changing the image so in the similar way and also for the third one and now we can also modify the 
margins for the columns so for the last column from advance we can set the right side margin to zero and also if i check the tablet view so it's looking like this and here we need to work for the padding for tablet and phone so for the right side and left side i'm adding 10 pixel making it to unlink and for top i'm adding 250 and for bottom 20 or here we can add 200 yeah it looks good and doing same for the all others and finally going for the phone view for the phone view it looks good now going back to the desktop again and now if i check again so here we need to add a button so for that again going here i have already created a button in the about section so we can use this button i'm going to copy and paste it here and this time i'm changing the alignment to center and also changing the text to view all and we are done and next for the client's logo area i'm going to do in the similar way i'm going to duplicate this section first and now i'm changing the background color to the opposite one from color i'm making it to the black bg1 and this time i'm removing this inner section and also here we need not to use this button and the text so i'm removing this text and also removing this button and here i'm going to add this logo so first i'm going to export this logo selecting the first one and from the right side export and this time i'm going to export as png and also going to export all others and now for this section here i'm taking a image gallery so going here and searching for image here is the image carousel we can also take this or we can use this basic gallery and from here i'm going to upload the images i'm going to upload all the logo image and going to create a new gallery insert gallery and now for the column if i check here three four five so we can make it to the five column and now the image size we can make the image size to default and going to style tab and here going to image spacing custom so now i'm going to add some spacing between this logo and here you can see if we check the design here you can see the alignment is center and also when you use the four logo it's in the center align so here i'm not finding the alignment center for logo we can do the same thing in a little bit different way so now i'm going to duplicate this one and for the first item i'm going to remove this four going here and if i go here i'm removing this four and for the second one i'm going to remove this five and insert and now for the second one i'm going to add some margin in left and right so going here going to advance and for margin making it to unlink and for left and right i'm going to add some margin 150 and 150 and here we can set the column so going to content and column i'm making it to 4 and also we can decrease the margin now all right so i have set it to 100 for left and right 
and also we need to add some margin in top so for top i'm adding 20 or 30 yeah looks good and also for the first one going to add funds and here i'm going to add some margin in top making it to unlink and for top i'm adding 50 yeah looks good and now for this section if i check the responsive view going to tablet it's looking like this for tablet looking good and for tablet we can decrease the margin for the second item so going here making it to unlink and here i'm adding 80 for left and right and for top i'm adding 20 for 10 yeah looks good and also going to the phone view for phone it's showing one by one you can keep it like that and now for the second item going here and from advance we can set the margin to zero and here going to add some margin in top only so for top making it to unlink first and for top adding 20 or 30 all right so i have added 40 and looks good for phone also and now finally going to the desktop view so we are done for this section and finally i need to go for the footer area and header area so for header and footer area we can do this in the next tutorial so we are done for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video